need your help to find a reckless driver who left one Blackpool resident with life-changing injuries. I've never had pain like it. It was just on my leg was off. There's just the, the fear that must have been going through it. It was only a matter of luck that Maury was in death. Widowed mother of three and nursing home carer Maureen Langley has lived in Blackpool all her life. She's immensely strong, obviously bringing up three children on her own and stuff. Um, she, you know, she's not one to get you to do anything for her. You never, she never phones you, needing you or anything. She tries to do everything very independently. She's great. She's always there. She's always been there for me. Always, always there for all of us, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. On March the 14th this year, Maureen was planning to visit her sister. Yeah. I'll come on over then, after I've been to the supermarket. All right, bye, see you later. We just um, chill, watch films, uh, but we're very good friends. We've grown up together and we've been a, she lost her husband and I lost my husband. So we've got really close, we're very close people. On the way, Maureen stopped at the supermarket to pick up some shopping. She then headed off to her sister's house. She went to cross a dual carriageway, a road with a 30 mile an hour speed limit. She came out of Morrison's um, and was crossing over in the dual carriageway. It's a really quiet area, not too many cars around. Obviously there's a safe central reservation in the middle. Maureen could see two cars approaching on the carriageway. She thought they were far enough away for her to cross safely. But the cars were travelling too fast. And before she could reach the other side, a white car ploughed into her. I've never had pain like it. It was as though my leg was off. I, I, I didn't have a leg. The force of a car driving into the back of her leg ripped off her calf muscle and caused multiple fractures. She was fighting for her life. She didn't know if she was going to live when she got hit. I thought, am I dead? And I thought, oh no, and I'm saying to my husband, he's dead. And I'm saying to him, don't come and get me yet. I'm not ready. The police are amazed that Maureen survived the accident. A second earlier, and we may well have been looking at a fatal collision. And witnesses say the cars were well over the speed limit. We had a, a two witnesses that came forward that explained that they described two vehicles racing along Squiresgate Lane. The vehicle that had struck Maureen had swerved quite violently in the carriageway either just before or just after having collided with Maureen. That would indicate that the driver certainly realised that the, there was something there to avoid and that he may well have collided with somebody. Despite this, the driver did not stop. The accident has had a devastating impact on Maureen's life. She's 64 and she's so frail and scared and it's horrible to see when she's always been the person that tells us not to be scared. I have to have people to help me all the time and I don't like that because I lived on my own. And I like to do my things my, my own way, you know what I mean? These photos show the excruciating injuries that have left Maureen in a wheelchair. The person who did this needs to come forward. Maureen needs to know why the person left her and why they didn't stop at the scene. Her life now has changed forever from the accident. Um, if they can come forward, maybe it can give you know, us closure. You know, my mum's been through, you know, an awful time. Everything we've been through as a family has just been awful. I just want to go to sleep and not wake up. But I know I can't do that, you know, because I've got family on there. But sometimes that's how I feel. This has been a terrible time for Maureen and for her whole family. And Chief Inspector Laura Lawson joins me now. Laura, where and when did this take place? The incident happened on Squires Gate Lane at Blackpool. 
and it was Thursday evening on the 14th of March at about 10 to 8 in the evening. So what can you tell us about the car involved? We believe the vehicle involved was very similar to this one, right. uh, a new model, white BMW, um, and we believe the vehicle was with another vehicle, which we can only describe as a dark car, um, and we believe that they were both travelling at speed up Squires Gate Lane at about 60 to 70 miles an hour. And Maureen is being supported by her daughters, but how is she now? She's very, very slowly recovering. She is back home now, but the injuries to her right leg are still horrendous, really. Um, she had a lot of skin taken off her leg with the collision, mm. but again, it's going to take a long time for her to make it back to full recovery. And yeah, she's struggling to come to terms with that, yes. I know. What are you appealing for? What information do you really want from our viewers and the public out there? I think the key thing really is for the driver of the white vehicle to think about what his actions were and the impact it's had on Maureen and her family and to come forward and show some remorse as to what's happened on that night. Yeah, so you really also need any sightings of that white BMW and as you said there was another car involved. I mean, do you know where the white car went afterwards? I mean, we think the white car went left at the traffic lights onto St. Anne's Road and from there we don't know where it's gone. Um, but any